Super Contest picks last week. I went three and two. I am sitting at 18 and 12 overall on the season. Chris, one and four last week, 14 and 14 on the season. But two pushes. You had two pushes early in the season. So let's let's go ahead and dive into it. I'll, I'll go and give you my first one here. Okay. I'm going to take the Dolphins plus two and a half at home against the Falcons. I know that they're coming back from London, but the way that they lost that game, if you have any sense of pride about you, after losing to the Jags, you cannot lose at home to the Falcons. Uh, I feel like this is this is the throw everything you got at it. This is the kitchen sink game that, that you have brought up before. I think the Dolphins are going to win this game outright. So the fact that I'm getting two and a half, I feel pretty good about Give me the Dolphins. Yep, I'm going to go with my Patriots at the uh, versus the Jets at home minus seven. It's a big number. the The Jets are coming off a of bye week. The Patriots have to have this win. That that's a team that desperately needs to kick the shit out of somebody bad. And they they did it already earlier this year on the road. Yes, they have on the road. So yeah, I'm, I'm just telling you. And that makes sense. All right, Pat's minus seven. Uh, game number two for me. Uh, I'm going to Sunday night. 49ers at home, minus three and a half. Kyle Shanahan coming off of a bye week. Uh, the Colts, I don't trust them. I especially don't trust them on the road in a prime spot. Uh, Carson Wentz is not great in primetime spots. I will take the 49ers. Uh, Trey Lance, I believe, is is out still, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but I will take Jimmy G in this spot because I think this offense will be rolling this week. Uh, give me the 49ers at home, minus three and a half. Give me the 49ers. Minus three and a half with the Colts. I'm with you on that. I'll give you my next one because we agree on that one. Sounds good. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the Bengals. I'm going to keep riding the hot hand of Joe Burrow, baby. Why would I not? All right? I'm getting almost a touchdown. I'm going to Baltimore. And, and this is a team that just can't scare you if you want to compete for this division. Right now, you are – in in the division, you're right there with them. You're you're one game behind them. You win this, you not only you're tied with them record wise, but you you have the tiebreaker. So, I am going to go opposite of you on that. I feel strongly about the Ravens being able to get this win at minus six. So we will differ on that one. My uh, my next one, I'll go ahead and tell you that game number four for me, Saints at minus five. We just talked about the game. Uh, I don't trust the Seahawks. I think that the Saints have a way better offense than the Steelers. Even on the road, I think the Saints are going to be able to put up a, a lot of points here against the Seahawks defense. So give me give me Saints minus five. I don't trust Geno Smith. Yeah, my next one I'm going, I'm going to give you the Raiders minus the three at home against the Eagles. Uh, I know the Eagles have been playing people close. I think this Raiders team is still riding high. I think we're going to see just – Every week, them continue to play good football. They've played good football all year. They haven't really looked bad except for that one Broncos game that was just gross. Not Broncos game. Uh, that, this what was the game last week? Not not this week. Anyway, they looked <laughs> awful. It, it was the John Gruden situation was was looming over them. That is the only game all season that they didn't look like a very competent football team. They're at home. I think they're playing well at home. I think they're going to win that game. I think, uh, I think you were over the three. I think you were talking about the Bears, right? Bears. That's it. That's it. Yes. Final game for me: Chiefs minus five and a half at the Titans. Titans lost a lot. I think they. I think that was their kitchen sink game on Monday night. Uh, I don't think that they are going to be able to do that against the Chiefs here. And this Chiefs offense is legit. The Titans defense not great. Like they looked a lot better against uh, against the Bills. Uh, but we also know that we can expect that sometimes from the Bills' offense for whatever reason. If you look at Tennessee's defense, number 28 in DVOA in the league, uh, Kansas City's offense is number two in that metric. So, you know, uh, while I while I don't like Kansas City not being able to stop the run, I do think they're going to be able to score plenty of points here. So I will take Kansas City minus five and a half. What's, uh, what's game number five for you? We'll go head to head on that one. I'll take the Titans plus the points. You're using numbers that you want to say what you want to say. Kansas City is 32 in DVOA, by the way. They're DFL dead fucking last. And they give up more rushing yards than any team on the planet playing the game of football. Derrick Henry is going to control. You know how you keep you know how you keep Patrick Mahomes from scoring? You keep his ass on the sidelines. This is true. This is true. That Kansas City defense, by the way. Moved up. They're 31 in DVOA. They've been 32 all year, but uh, but after the win last week, they are they are now finally number 31 in that metric. Number 32 now is Jacksonville. And so seems to make sense. Kansas City's so defense. Jacksonville won a game and their defense got worse. 
<laughs> is that not insane? That's Jacksonville weird. is 32 in DVOA. Atlanta is 30. Washington, 29. Tennessee, 28. So there you go. That that makes total sense. That, the the better play, I think, for Chiefs and uh, Titans might be the over fifty seven. But but it, either way, all right. So we'll go head to head on those last two. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B Giannini at Winning Cures, or you can email us Gary at winningcureseverything dot com or Chris at winningcureseverything dot com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.